Hi guys, it's Monica. I am a former smoker. I actually smoked for a very, very long time. And one of the things that I have been really trying to work very hard on is what I call the smoker wrinkles. Now I know that you can get those wrinkles on your upper lip from sucking on straws or other things other than smoking, but for me, they're definitely smoker wrinkles. So I started smoking when I was 12 years old. I mean, can you imagine 12 years old and I smoked for 34 years. So I started smoking, my opa came over from Germany to visit us and he actually spent almost two years with us. He had like an extended visa and he was, the, he was the most awesomest guy. He was so funny. But anyways, my opa loved to smoke and I used to, I don't know what made me, but I thought he looked really cool when the smoke came out of his nose and stuff like that. So when he wasn't looking, I would, I would grab his little cigarette butts and I would smoke them. Um, it took me a while to really get the hang of smoking and it got to a point where my opa sent me to the little corner store. We lived in a really small section of North Salem and there was one little tiny store and it was like had penny candy, that whole nine yards, everything that you can imagine. Well, I went down to the corner store and I bought my opa a pack of cigarettes. Legitimately, he gave me the money. And then after a while, I just... I just said, well, I'm gonna buy myself a pack of cigarettes and I didn't know what kind to buy, but I lived in a town called Salem and there was a brand of cigarettes out called Salem. So I bought Salem's menthols and I think they were like 100s or something. They were like really long and they were really, I thought sexy. And I would walk up and down the street smoking those cigarettes thinking I was some hot stuff I'll tell you I thought it was really cool anyways I know that's not what this video is all about but little did I know and if someone had told me at that age that if I kept puffing those things not only could I likely maybe potentially kill myself get lung cancer or kill someone else with secondhand smoke but I could also get those awful wrinkles on your upper lip. Now, you may not see them, but I do. I have like that 10 times magnifying mirror and I look at that. I can see that I have three lines and then I have one big line on one side and I, I hate it. But as I said, I was, I'm a farmer smoker. So I smoked for 34 years and then the year 2000, ironically, I was choking in the bathroom and um, I couldn't I couldn't get anyone's attention I, literally when you choke you can't make a sound and I was choking on a piece of plastic that you know I, I bit open a q-tip box and I inhaled and there was a hunk of plastic why I bit it open I don't know but I did and it was it was wedged I couldn't catch my breath I couldn't I, I couldn't get it out so I'm like trying to make noise or whatever and I can hear so real as it was all the household noises going on around me but nobody could see that I was in distress and I scared myself to death I just couldn't believe it finally I somehow got it dislodged and I got my equilibrium back and I went into the other rooms and you know I could see my husband I could see my kids and I thought wow here I was feeling like I was going to die and life just went on they they were oblivious to my distress so I went out into my summer kitchen because I didn't smoke in the house back then at all I went out into my summer kitchen and I lit up a cigarette and while I was smoking that cigarette, I thought to myself, this is kind of ironic that just a few minutes ago, you thought you were going to die in the bathroom. You couldn't get anyone's attention. You couldn't get any help. You thought you were going to die. And here you are sitting out here puffing a cigarette. And that was really the last time I smoked. That was the year 2000. And so I've been cigarette free for 17 years, but I have been watching those smoker wrinkles on my lips and I'll tell you you know maybe I'm a sucker for a gimmick I really what I'm willing to try anything to help alleviate those smokers wrinkles and one of the things that I bought and many of you may if you watched my video I, I got this I think the second week in June or third week in June I had bought the skin clinical reverse anti-aging light therapy I don't often 
remember to tell you folks, but most of the time that anytime I talk about products, I've actually bought it myself. I'm a small YouTuber, so I don't get all the cool freebies. I get some freebies, but I don't get all the cool freebies. But, um, it, but I thought this was so, I mean, I really did. I thought this was so promising. And the more, even today, the more I hear about light therapy and the more I, you know, I research on it, I realize there is some benefit to it. But I bought this and this is not cheap. And so it was not given to me. I spent my money on it. And Jay was like, when I bought it, he thought it was like off my marbles. He says, really, you spent that kind of money on that device? And I would sit there every night, three minutes on each section. And you know what? When you have a number of problem areas in your face, three minutes on each section takes a long time. I mean, and then you'd have to rest your arm because... You know, after a while, it's pretty tiring to do this. But I was pretty diligent with it. And so so now I am, it's a little over three months of use on this. And uh, I keep looking in that 10 times magnifying mirror and I keep saying, Monica, did you waste your money? Are you seeing anything? Now, realistically speaking, I do know that things like this, and even things like my derma rolling, these things are gonna take a while to be, to really notice. However, I did expect to see a little bit of more than I did on this. I think probably the derma roll is gonna give me better results quicker than the Skin Clinical Reverse Anti-Aging. So I guess the key question is, would I buy this again? And my answer to you, quite frankly, is no. I wouldn't buy it again. I am going to keep using it, and I am going to keep using it, and I'm going to focus in on those trouble, trouble areas. I have so many of them, but I'm like, all right, what do I really want to focus in? My smoker's lines bother me a lot. Maybe you can't see them, like I said, because I see them in that 10 magnifying glass. Maybe you can't see them, but I can. So I'm going to continue to use this in those areas because I have been using it in that area. And I'm also going to continue to use it on my 11s. And I'm going to go into my deep, whatever they're called, my deep lines. But I'm not going to use it all over my face like I was before because quite frankly, 40 minutes a night, I, don't, I really don't have that time. So I think there's some merit behind this, and I don't want to come out and say I wasted my money because I, I, I think it might be too soon for me to say I wasted my money. So is three and a half months long enough to see a difference? You be the judge. I haven't seen a difference. Three and a half months. So on the same hand, I'm derma rolling. Have I seen a difference on derma rolling? So I just did this past weekend my 10th derma rolling, two months of derma rolling, technically one night a week. And I did elevate the 0.50 the derma roller or micro needles or whatever you want to call these things. And I did elevate to that. And um, have I noticed anything? Two months? No, nothing, not yet. Although I will say that I think, but I'm not sure, I think I saw a little bit of a thickening on my bottom lip. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to derma roll my bottom lip twice a week. Because right now I'm just doing the once a week, but I'm going to start to do it twice a week. And I probably will do, on the night that I do my whole face, I'll probably do the, the 0.50. But on the other night, I might go to the 0.250, the smaller uh, micro needle and try that. Now there's been a couple of good videos. The one that I want to mention for, for sure is Tammy Eppie's Beads. She, she, and I'll link her video, she gave the most detailed description on how to, to derma roll. And I pretty well derma roll in that same pattern. And the other one um, that I just watched uh, recently was Mr. Kong's mom, and I will also link hers because she talks a lot about sanitization and uh, making sure that you are, you are super, super clean when you're derma rolling. And that has been probably the biggest concern that I have. Not that I'm dirty, but <laughs> that sound good. Uh, but that's been the biggest concern is that am I sanitizing my my micro needles? So I let them soak in the bar, bar side and also that alcohol. I let them soak long enough. I feel that's okay. 
I exfoliate my skin. I clean my skin super, super good. I use a good exfoliator. Then I wash it again and then, you know, I'll tone it. Um, and I, I make sure that nothing comes off and I feel like my skin is really clean. And then there's my hands. So I'm also going to sanitize my hands, my fingers, everything, because in essence, when you go to hold your skin taut and your derma rolling, you're touching, you're touching. So I'm like such a fanatic on sanitization, holding it taut, 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 whatever, and, and just making sure everything is sanitized. And then when I'm done that, then I'm going for my serums, and then I'm freaking out, I'm like going, I gotta open up a package, I can open up a bottle, and I can just wig myself right out about that. And uh, so I try to sanitize with the alcohol. I'm like, I'm like a crazy, I'm like a crazy lady when it comes to that. But um, uh, yeah, so I mean, I guess the point of my video is that I gave this a fair shot. I'm going to continue to use it. I, I think it has a lot of merits, but I think I'm going to get more out of using this than this. And this is certainly cheaper. However, there are risks involved in this. I think you've got to be very, very careful. You have no sores, you have no nothing so that you can't contaminate your face. And that's the only freaky thing about derma rolling for me is to make sure. The next thing I want to say, and I know this is probably, I can't tell how long this is, it's probably too long. But um, I've been trying to let my hair grow. So I'm not really too sure that I'm liking the longer, the longer look. I'm so used to having the shorter layers that the longer look is a little bit of an adjustment for me. But, um... So I don't know, what do you think? I, I, I just kept envisioning that I could let it grow a little bit tapered near my hair, but have more fullness and more body, maybe even something long, and maybe even, um, oh, here it is. Maybe even, I bought this little thing. <laughs> oh, I bought this. I haven't used it yet. I bought this at Sally's, actually. And, uh, and I, so I was kind of like thinking I could put my hair up in a bun and put this little blobber on there, but... So far, I haven't used it, but that's um, that's a scoop. I'm trying to grow my hair out, and, and um, I am going to talk about some shampoos I've been using lately on my hair, uh, which I have strong feelings about whether they're working or not. Am I seeing any hair regrowth or not? But that'll be an upcoming video. So that's it for today. Sorry to be so long. Hopefully you hung in there into the end, and uh, please thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Bye, guys.